Well, greetings and salutations, everyone. Welcome back once again for the very first time to the Farts and Crap Show, where today, as per usual, it's your host, Andrew, here with part 10 of Xenogears, the PS1 version here in Retro Classics. Hope you guys are all doing well today. And, uh, yeah. On today's episode, we are rejoining Faye and what's his name, Bart, um, who are stuck in a subterranean stalactite cave, I think is what they called it, um, under the desert area. And for the first time, we're actually walking around. Uh, kind of at the speed of sound, um, in our gears, actually, uh, which is a little different, um, and I guess from the, no, it's not the equip menu, the gear menu, you can actually, like, switch to get on or get off the gear, and the gears just kind of stay here, um, I guess, like, I'm not entirely sure uh, how that works, if, like, you go too far away from the gear or something, like, you have to manually come back for it, or, I, I just, I, I have no idea, I, I don't know how that works. But, um, yeah, in today's episode, we're gonna explore a bit, I guess. Kind of start to figure that out. And uh, our run is just like a <laughs> boost mode, I guess, to go around. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well today. And where are we going? Where are we go? Where are we go now? Um, do not know. Uh, the end of the previous episode, Bart, uh, Apparently pointed out a spot where the cave continues. There was like something blocking the way or something. What the hell? Uh, I'm sorry. What? What is this? Mayfly? It's like some kind of bug attacking this gear. Oh, wait a minute. We don't get our... We don't get our fuel back? In between battles? I need to use Guided Shot. Forty. It. Dude. 
Okay, so I have to use my death blow attacks to deal decent damage. supposed to give me fuel back? Am I just supposed to run? Charge did not give me fuel back. Charge for what? Oh, is that, like, for my guided shot? Well, that's still 40 damage. I run out of fuel. I keep keeps getting back up. supposed to run? I don't really get what the deal is here. Oh wait, is he kind of down? Is that maybe he's low in health? Oh, we got him. Okay. All right. Oh man, okay, alright. 700 XP. Yeah, okay. Extra AR1. Okay. But how do we get our fuel back? Because I am really low on fuel. He can have this. I can't use that outside of battle. Do 
restores HP, non battle, restores EP. Like, how do I get fuel back? Am I supposed to just get out of the gear for now, or...? I might have to reload the save. Oh wait, he means this thing, right? Hey. Hey. This is huge. <laughs> hear it all the time. What? Never mind. What can we do with this? I doubt you can break it. Huh. I guess. I doubt you can break it. Huh. Well, no matter how you look at it. I mean, it seems to be moving. What the heck are you doing? Hurry up and help! I mean, come on, you guys are in giant anime mechas. Next? There you go. We can get by if we help each other. I mean, probably. Let's keep it up so we can get out of here. The hydromechanic pipe from my knee joint is on the verge of breaking down. It's all because of that fall from the ceiling, followed by pushing this mega colossal boulder. It won't be funny if my gear malfunctions in a huge cavern like this. Your friends won't come and help us? It'd be a waste of time waiting. Probably won't come. But aren't they your friends? I'm not sure how friends work, actually. I'm probably the wrong person to talk to about this. We believe in a liberal upbringing. We don't think we can escape by ourselves. I wonder if Doc is okay. Don't worry about the man you were with. I'm sure our guys saved him by now. Mm. What is it? Mm. You wouldn't have fallen in here if you'd only listened to me. Don't blame it on me. You should have surrendered instead of challenging me. All I wanted was your gear. Oh, is that all? <laughs> the thing that has saved my life multiple times? Don't be ridiculous. You're the one who blindly attacked me. What else was I supposed to do? I thought I might die if I didn't fight you. Which is probably a valid assessment. I was taking it easy on you. Couldn't you tell? <laughs> then you're a bit dense. Don't lie to me. I know you were serious. What? You want some? Let's have it out, right here. Hmm. Wait, settling right here comes first. Except you just said... No, oh, dude, what the fuck is your problem? You guys need to work together to get out of here and, like, not die. <laughs> we won't be able to get anything done till we settle this once and for all. I thought you wanted a truce for now. Getting out of here should come first. Once we're out of here, then I'll fight you all you want. Let's hurry up and move on, get a, move on out of here. There you go. I don't like you very much. Damn it. I'll get you out. I'll... I'll get you when we get out of here. Oh no, he'll get me. Oh no. Um. I mean, come on. The boulder broke when it fell. Like, not that big an issue. How is this? Like a mecha equivalent of, um, treasure chest, gotcha. Is this something? Just a weird wall? Okay. Also, the fact that it's just, like, quiet dripping most of the time. Oh, what the hell? Like, the camera pulled out? <laughs> Pause. Even further? <laughs> like...
Wait, there's like just regular guys down there. Also, I am almost out of fuel. Like. I thought charge was supposed to give you fuel back. just like firing bullets at these giant robots. <laughs> wow. Charge again. Oh, his fuel did go up. It's at 304 now. Okay, so it's just a slow process. the gear automatically come with? Yeah, it's at 334 now. Okay, good, good, good. I thought I was entirely screwed. I was like, how do I get more fuel? Like, what the hell am I supposed to do? Alright, um... So if I just go for a regular attack? Oh, holy shit, that's way overkill. Okay, it's going up a little bit. Like, this feels incredibly one-sided. I could just leave one guy left and then just keep charging. Seems like a decent idea. So we get some fuel back. I mean, he can't really do any damage. Why does it say... Oh, I can only heal myself? I can't heal him? Wait, restore defense? So that doesn't give me HP back? But where's my max HP? It only shows my current HP. This does seem like a valid way to get fuel back, you know? It's like, leave one enemy alive and just, he can't do anything. So just, you know, keep charging. Like, I don't think he's done more than zero damage. Maybe occasionally he's done like one, but I don't know, man.
Alright. Um I'll just do like one one more round. Alright, nine hundred fuel for Faye, that that seems like plenty. That uh, that answers that question, because uh, that was starting to get very worrying. Um, I mean, it seems like this is the only yeah. I can't go up there. Just a linear path. I mean, there's probably also going to be a boss fight in here. So, like, you know, I don't want to go into a boss fight just like... With absolutely no, uh, you know, fuel. I should actually probably just keep charging with Faye, honestly. That's fine. Alright, doesn't look like there's anything else over there. Uh, hey, random robot. I mean, fellow robot. We are also robots. Definitely not people inside of a giant mech. Of uh, excavation site number eight, gear number three, uh, surrounding area info. There is a barrier wall in the southeast of Terra Stones that was built to stop the shifting of sand. Until the barrier reopens, please assemble at the shelter located to the east of the barrier wall. What's with this gear? It's well maintained for a gear just left lying around like this. Um, tell current situation, I guess. Sand sensors have detected an abnormal amount of sand. Sand barrier south of the Terra Stones has been sealed to prevent sand from entering excavation site. Oh. So, don't keep going south. Go the other way? I'm still going to go south. Cutscene, safe point. Who'd have thought there'd be someone living in a place like this? Let's check it out. Oh, is that what that is? Okay. I mean... Can I even jump that high? I guess so. Well, seems like probably the way we're supposed to go. This is a new type of thing. Nomad fix spot? Oh shit, dude. 
I'm sorry, you're just gonna heal us? is really fucking helpful. Sorry for attacking you, man. I thought you were a bad guy. I mean, should we just run, or... I mean, I kind of want to see what drops it has. I feel kind of bad about this now. Oh, shit. Okay, so he doesn't have drops. Or we just didn't get it. Oh, well, that definitely looks like something. Uh, actually, you know, now I'm less sure this might actually be the way to go. What the hell is this? Waterfall grotto, grotto sand sensor. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. Received iron G whip. Iron Gwip. As the youth say. Um. Okay, so that was definitely worth the detour. Can Faze Mech use those or no? Uh, it seems like a no. Give him the better one, like I guess. I don't know. This guy seems like he's maybe a temporary ally, so maybe I should just take his other shit. I mean, I don't know, that's kind of the way it seems to me. Uh I don't don't see anything else down here, so let's just go the other way. himself. And these machines suck. give so much experience for how easy fights these are. I mean, granted, our gears might just be, like, super OP. But I don't know, man. Like, it seemed like the only danger in here was, like, running out of fuel. Especially with this particular, like, enemy setup, like, four regular guys and a robot, you know? Just 
leave one alive and just charge until you have all your fuel back. <laughs> you know? Um... to do. Yeah, fight the... do the robot. Yeah, there we go. Incredibly one sided. <laughs> um, anything over here? Like, oh, that is a path. Wait, what? This isn't the same... This is the same guy. Huh? But no, I jumped up on the thing. And... Oh, did I just... I went back down. Oh. Well, don't I feel stupid? Um, there's a path over there. I mean, it looks like that might just be the way out of here. What the hell are these things? Medusoid? I don't like the look of that. Oh, they don't have very much health at all. Well, fuck that up. Seven hundred experience? Hmm. It must have like some alternate like nasty attack that I didn't see or something. What the hell is this big thing? Doors? A gate or something? And that's a Pretty small door, so I'm assuming we have to get out of our gears to actually do this. Which, I mean, I guess the game hasn't clarified yet, like, how to do that, like, get out of your gear and, you know, do things. So, I guess this is kind of serving as, like, tutorial for that thing. Um, in a sense, like, in case you haven't figured this out yet. Uh, okay. Walking, walking. Oh my goodness, look how tiny we are. <laughs> so, we're so tiny. Now this door is huge as fuck. <laughs> like... Is it it? Whoa, that was weird. Hey, Faye. This is a surprise. Someone living in this place. Yeah, you already said that. 
Damn, this guy's old. Mm. It's been a while, but I thought I could hear the sound of gears. I assume they're yours. Well, anyway, come on back in here and make yourselves at home. Don't ask me about my giant eyebrows, please. Very rude. Been a long time since my last visitor. What happened? Did you fall from the surface? Also, how the fuck do you survive down here, dude? I, I guess that's it. I see. That's too bad. I can tell from the sound that you both ride good gears. The, the, um... Thanks? But the legs seem to be playing up a bit. You mean you can tell what's wrong just by the sound of its footsteps? <laughs> it's easy to know what's wrong with gears by the sounds they make. My guess is that one of them needs a new hydromechanic pipe in its joints. Would either of you gents like a new hydromechanic pipe? Maybe new joints? <laughs> so, I don't require any... Uh, anyway, it's making a nasty sound. Must be hard to walk with, too. Oh, by the way, my name's Balthazar. But you can call me Old Man Bal. Oh, yeah? So, looks like we've got a real fanatic here, huh? What, what does that mean? What? What's an old man like you doing in a place like this? Oh, so you are interested in my hydromechanic pipe. <laughs> no, I meant like... Literally, what are you doing? <laughs> oh... Damn it. I'm so lonely. I guess you can call me a fossicker. What? The hell is a fossicker? Is that a real move? Is that a real move? Is that, is that a real term? Also, they changed his, like, <laughs> title to Old Man Bell. That is how I self-identified, so thank you. I appreciate that. Or a collector of things. There is much to be found lying around in this here stalactite cavern. Like, whoa, we call it that too. Collector, huh? Sounds interesting. Things on the shelf. Are they some of your stuff that you found? You mean the fossils? Uh, there's, they're, they're, they're one of the things I collect. I happen to have a dome fossil and a helix fossil. You can have one, but only one. And, uh... Yeah. And, uh, iced milk coffee. Which I've been waiting for a moment to... Hmm. Oh, it feels good in my throat. Oh, I've been doing a lot of voices today, so... Ooh, yeah, that feels nice. That feels nice. It's always like the old man voices or like the pirate voices that fucking really mess up my throat. And yeah, there there's a good reason I wasn't doing my usual pirate voice for the for for Bart cuz last time I did that and like really went ham on it, it kind of fucked up my voice for a few days. So Feel free to have a look at them. Around here you can dig up ancient machines along with human and animal fossils. Notice anything particular on these shelves? They go from oldest on the left to newest on the right. Are you an archaeologist or something, old man? I don't quite see what you're talking about. It just looked like a bunch of old bones to me. Bay, what do you think? Let me see. First, there are no human bones up to here. Then, from here on over to the right, something is slightly different, I guess? Yes. 
From a certain point in time, human fossils suddenly no longer appear. That point is roughly 10,000 years ago, when I was a young lad. <laughs> what does that mean? Don't ask me, I don't know for sure. But my guess is there were no humans on this planet before then. At least, it appears so. How could that be? What about all the talk about evolution? You mean the theory of evolution taught by the ethos, right? Well, that's a bunch of horseshit. <laughs> We're gonna take a real, real hard stance on science in this game. <laughs> you can't trust that. Rather, I believe in the old legends and myths. Although they might not be myths, considering that... <laughs> I seem to think they're true. Legends? Myths? Haven't you heard of this story? They say that humans and God live together in a paradise in the sky. With God's protection, there was no fear of death, and natural disasters were entirely unknown. Then one day, the humans ate a forbidden fruit, which gave them incredible wisdom. God drove mankind from the paradise for their sin. Bitter at having been driven out of paradise, humans used the wisdom they had gained to make giants. With these giants, they planned to challenge God himself, but God poured his wrath down on them. All who defied God were destroyed, but God himself did not escape unharmed. Taking paradise with him, the wounded god buried himself deep beneath the ocean to sleep for eons. Before going to sleep, god used his remaining power to create right-hearted humans to live on this planet. Those people are said to be our ancestors. Now, my profile picture is flipped, and you can see I look identical from the other side. <laughs> Pretty incredible. Very symmetrical, my face, even at this old age. Anyway, I'll stop rambling for now. <laughs> Unfortunately, my rambling also has a sick track from the OST to it. That will also be stopping. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. I don't want pseudoscience in my games. Shh. Talk about a mid JRPG. I'm just joking. I'm joking. Um. Also, what? He has, like, fossils from the entirety of history? And how, how did he judge how old they are? Like, is he, like, carbon dating shit in here? Like, what the fuck? I'm still confused as to what the hell this ethos shit is. Like, oh yeah, dude, can you actually fix our gears? Or were you just, like... Noticing that they're kind of fucked up. I'm just like checking around this guy's place, like just to, just, just, you know, take a little look see. Also, does he sleep on rock? Just like a couple of blankets on the ground? I mean, I guess I could be like a futon thing, you know, but whatever. I guess I should talk to him before we go, considering he's. You've given us some exposition, and that's pretty much it. Um, is there like a camera angle that doesn't quite, you know, no? Oh, yeah, we are supposed to do that. By the way, does this cave have an exit? There is an exit in the excavation site beyond the sand barrier. You can get outside through there. Sand barrier? You mean that huge wall you can see from your entrance? 
Yes, that's it. On the other side is an old Va excavation site. They built the wall when Ava was excavating here to keep the sand from falling in from above. Or at least that's what the ethos will tell you. According to the legends, man was... <laughs> like, ah, oh, fuck. One hour later. <laughs> but they've stopped work there now. So how do we open such a huge thing like that? Ah, so you are interested in my pipe. <laughs> what? No. If it's a wall, you can probably break it down. Just gonna glaze over that. Hold your horses there, youngins. No matter how good a gear you have, you'll never break that wall down. It's much too strong. So, let's make a deal. Deal? The wall was closed due to the reaction of the sand sensors. Thanks to that, now I can get through to the other side either. I, except I can't. I can't get through. I, I should have clarified the contraction. Maybe it's happened when you two fell in here. Maybe you doomed me. It's your fault I'm going to die in this hole. Actually, yes, fuck you. Get out of my house. Were you boys fighting up there or something? Wow, you seem to be able to tell everything. Anyway, so what can we do about it? It's very simple. You just have to turn off the sand sensor switches. Doing that will keep the barrier from closing again. While you two are doing that, I'll open it up. Uh... The wall thing, yeah, I get it. You guys, you know, <laughs> nothing's happening between us. And you, 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 you. Right. Sorry, I got my hopes up for nothing. Right. Got it. The sensors are in two places. You should see their flashing red lights. Well, good luck then. Let's go, Bart. Let's fucking go! Oh, before you go. I can share some parts and fuel with you. Just talk to me whenever you need something. Right. 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 Thanks, old man. Uh, who, who, uh... Well, we'll go and finish our part of the deal then. Yeah? Parts? Huh? Now hurry and shut off the sand sensors. Or do you have something else you want to ask? Uh... Parts to sell? Hmm? Which do you want? Uh... Oh, you have regular equipment, too? First, changing the engine, and is a good idea. Changing the engine? What? Oh, fuck. Why, why does the weight matter? Wait, his total HP is 1900? Uh, tune-up? Engine. Like a G6? <laughs> okay. Um. Minus 1200 plus 400? Huh? What? What? Uh... Oh... 6 output, 1200 fuel, but we already have 1200 fuel. Isn't how many weapons that I can use. Okay. Let's do this. Is dope. Extra armor. We already have those. Fuel? Oh no. Frame? Oh. 
Oh, like there's the cost. But we get some credit. For the part that we had. 2100 H. What? Oh, like that's the new max. Okay. I mean, we have, I have been saving plenty of cash. So. Should I just spend this now? Armor. Okay, yeah, that has to be what it is. So the MS6. We have an MS3. So this costs 500, but we'd get 25 for trading in our MS3. Or does it even say armor? It doesn't say armor. All right, let's do, I don't get why upgrading the engine is like such a thing. So it costs 1200, but our current engine is worth 400. So it's only costing us 800, I guess. Yes. Yeah, I have no idea what that did. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'll take this better one. And the better armor. Yeah. Uh, restore HP and fuel. Yeah. Because he doesn't have any parts that I want. He doesn't have any weapons that I want. But, I mean, he's a mechanic, so that's cool. I mean, do I want to spend like all this cash on somebody who's essentially my enemy? I want to say no, but like, I as it is right now, I would guess no. I mean, he's doing fine. I'll, I'll give him a tune-up, like, restore his shit for 10G, sure. Like, I'm not spending all this cash on him, though. Fuck that. Like, I haven't even come across anything that was, like, that much of a threat yet. Besides, I could just give him that weapon back, the better whip or whatever. Okay, but you have regular stuff? Yeah, I'll turn off this sand stone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, gear, uh, parts to sell, character use. That's, that's all you have. HP and EP to full? And that's only 50? So why is Rose all 100? Are you, are you just like... Is he just an idiot? I'll take one more... I'll take like, okay, two more survival tents and like... Five Omega Solves? Maybe I should get like ten. Yeah, ten Omega Solves and two Survival Tents? Yeah. I was kind of hoping he'd have like equipment for my characters or something. This dude is like resourceful as shit. I mean, he's probably like an old like, um, Gebler, like mechanic or something like that he's like i retreated to the desert when you know i decided that what we were doing was wrong and now i live here some shit you know um 
about gear functions. There's some stuff I don't get. The gear strength changes with the parts equipped and how the pilot handles it. First, let's talk about the engine. A thing that you already spent money on. <laughs> with a good engine, your attack power and fuel capacity go up. HP depends on the frame and defensibility on the armor equipped. The frame and defense... Okay. Here's a tip for when your fuel is low. Use charge to replenish it. Yeah, I, I know. I already did that. You're fighting a strong enemy. Use booster to increase your mobility and power. Ah, oh, if you use booster too much, though, your fuel will run out. Okay. So think carefully and try to find your own style of fighting. And that's all I have to say about that. Okay. All right. Are these just books? Yeah, books. Pah. And come here to read, old man. Um. It's not equipment. Gear? Gear equipment? Alright, yeah, you can have the iron whip back. It seems like that's the only thing... Like, that's... It seems like he's the only person who can do that. Also, yeah, what the fuck is response? What is, what is that? Uh, Alright. Well, let's get out of here. Uh... Yeah, it's been awfully quiet in here. So yeah, we found the sand one of the sand sensors before. Um Should I have asked about the other one? Oh wait, do the gears follow behind you? Is like automatically? Because I didn't I didn't move them. Uh, old man? All? Uh, where are the sensors? I don't know where they are. Can you tell me? One is up on the rock ledge above the boulder in the Great Hall. You can find it by climbing the Terra Stones out there and heading into the passage on the... No on northwest wall. The other sensor is on the road from which you can see the waterfalls. You can get to it by going northwest from the place where the gear is standing. It's on a rock ledge. Square shape and flashing. Oh. Oh, wait, was he describing? Okay. I thought the first one he was describing was the first one I found. It was like... I didn't see the other one. Wait, hold on, let me... No, the gears don't move. Do I have to be right next to him to get back on him? No, they just have to be nearby. All right. A little strange, but okay. Uh, file. Let's go ahead and save. And where should we save? Probably just the first one. Uh, how are we doing on time? Oh shit, we are out of time. Damn it. All right. Okay. Well, it took longer than expected, but um, it's good. At least we have a plan now for how to get out of here. Um, yeah. Cool. Well, folks, that is going to do it for today, since we are out of time. On the next one, we will find those, uh, well, I guess find the other sand sensor and uh, turn them off, because I already found the other one. It's just in the room before this one, like from those steps, kind of where I found... Uh, was that in this episode or the last one? I don't remember. Um, 
but it was next to where I found the iron G whip, the whip, but uh, the iron whip. Um, so yeah, I know where that one is, but the other one I don't really. Mm, yeah, we'll find it on the next one. I was gonna say I think I know, but like I think it's just across from here, like up on those like ledges and stuff that I was jumping around. And it kind of looked like there was another path. I assumed that other path was maybe like a way to get out of here. Now I'm thinking probably not. It's probably just the way to go to get to the other sensor, I would imagine. But anyway. We'll uh we'll do that on the next one. Finally get out of this cave. See what happens with Bart. Because again, it doesn't seem like he's gonna be a regular member of the party or even like an ally. So I don't want to spend a bunch of cash on his gear if he's just gonna want to fight me later. But the Velt Hall, yeah, that was kind of part of the point for a while is to like fix it up, upgrade it, and shit like that. So, hopefully Doc will be pleasantly surprised when we get back. Be like, wow, you found all these new parts, and they got professionally installed? Wow, amazing. Um, but yeah, thanks for being here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Of course, before we get going, a very special thank you going out to the current Farts and Grab Show members, the amazing people who make it possible, Novella Straconis, Aaron Schick, WTF Corey, Rogue XOX, thank you so much for choosing to support the show a bit more directly via channel membership. It vastly helps out. Very much appreciate it. And if you guys want to be incredibly awesome like these amazing people and get in on all those membership benefits, check out that join button down below. There's also a link in the description. It talks about becoming a channel member in case you happen to be on a platform that doesn't show a join button next to the subscribe. I've heard it happen sometimes. And, um... Just gonna take another drink of this in case you guys are unfamiliar with YouTube handles. That is why WTF Corey and Rogue XOX each have an at in front of their screen name. Oh, that's good. And cold. Oh, that's very cold. Um Yeah, YouTube handles make YouTube URLs quite a bit easier. So um yeah, definitely go check out their channels. It's great stuff over there. Um, it's just youtube.com slash at and then the rest of the handle and that'll take you straight to their channel. So uh, it works the same on this channel as well or because no two handles are exactly the same. So like legacy URLs will work. But for example, to navigate back to the Farts and Crap Show, you can just go to youtube.com slash at the Farts and Crap Show. I'll take you right there. Uh, you can also type handles into the YouTube search and YouTube will recognize that you're looking for a channel and not a video or a playlist or something like that. So it, uh, yeah, it just makes navigation on the platform quite a bit easier. And, um, yeah, no two handles are exactly the same. So it's another way to double check, make sure you're in the right spot. But yeah, membership tiers start at $3 a month. That is a very cold cup. Uh, that's only <laughs> 10 cents a day. It gets you into all the basic stuff, including getting to vote on the series that get made here on the channel via the members' choice polls. It's a thing we do once a month for a full seven days, so 25% of the time we do have one going. And uh, we haven't had the one for September yet, time of recording, so that will be happening at some point uh, in the back half of the month, not really sure when yet, but uh, if you're a new member, any of the previous members' choice polls that you may have missed, uh, you can still vote on those over on the membership tab. Uh, basically, they stay up until you leave your vote on those polls, and uh, so even if you're just a member for one month, you can vote on every member's choice poll we've ever had and uh, thereby still influencing the content that gets made here for a while because retroactive input on previous polls is considered for future polls. So, but, um, 
yeah, this is an approximation, however, of future announcements from the past. I was just trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to mention. Um, but yeah, so if you want all of the announcements as they happen and the bell doesn't work for you, I totally get it. The bell doesn't work for me either. But there are three other ways you guys can stay up to date. There's the community tab here on the channel, the Farts and Crap Show Twitter, or the Discord. I always post on all three whenever there's an announcement, so regardless of which one works for you, uh, you can stay up to date. And links for those are down in the description, also on the channel banner. That is gonna do it for today, so thank you all once again for being here, guys. Till next time, take care, and I hope you all have a brilliant day.